everybody. It's Wednesday. It's Whip Wednesday. I did say I was going to stream, but I will not have time. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, because we have got 50 plus emails now, is we'll go through half of them today. And then what I will do is I will put together a Whip Weekend special catch up uh, episode, probably for Sunday morning. Uh, which should then clean the backlog. So with Wednesday, we get together with all of your good stuff and have a look and see what you've been working on. So if you've started painting, started a new team, finished a team, built something unnecessary, yes, I'm looking at you people out there who are building stadiums, or you've got a giant and appropriately want to share it with us, then drop us an email at whipwednesday bhpc at gmail.com. We're trying to keep all the Whip Wednesday stuff into that email address, and I will remember to change it in the uh, in the bit below as well anyway we've got a ton of cool stuff to look at so let's just jump straight in so we've got some skaven to begin so i'm already liking what i'm seeing so this is from shell uh hi all not got a lot of confidence in my painting i'm still learning and experimenting but wanted to share my new skaven team uh the bar is here when it comes to skaven teams do not worry Every Skaven team is a good team. Uh, tried to show the different positionals with blue for gutter runners, yellow for throwers, red for blitzers, and grey for line rats. Uh, then I painted the bottoms nice and gold as pirates do love gold. Hopefully they look okay and uh, look forward to playing with them soon. Thanks, Shell. Okie dokie. I think you've done some excellent work here. Um, so, where to start? Excellent highlighting, but let's zoom out a bit so we can see that. The object source lighting, the OSL, on this... Plague Sensor Bearer, I guess, is really good. Your highlighting is brilliant. The glow is wonderful. And the team looks really, really, really cool. So I I, I think this is the Punga team, isn't it? Um, made up. Yeah, I think it's the Punga team. Anyway, I love it. I love the bases as well. Works really, really, really well. Yeah, this is the Punga team. Absolutely brilliant. What a great mix of models. I like the way you've color-coded the positionals. That's, that's really cool. Um, you can kind of tie it into your your paint scheme for the whole team and it just works out really 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 well now i yeah love a proper rat ogre that's the rat ogre that we used on the series because it is a brilliant model and then uh here's the team shot so yeah yeah we helped design the, the star player for this this is absolutely brilliant now loving the team loving the scheme and loving the bases too uh oh, i can't beat the special weapons absolutely brilliant Come on, where's that gold? There it is. I like that. That's a clever way of doing it. You've got the positionals there. You've got the numbers there. And the gold coin effect is really cool, Shell. Thank you very much for sharing. What the heck is this? This is wicked. All right. I love it when we get something weird and wonderful. Uh, so this is from David. Hey, Ben. Hope you're well. I've been struggling with motivation to paint lately, but I found switching to a new project gets me excited and has helped me. Uh, thus, here is a Terminator skull. Uh, I've been working on it. I'm super happy with the eyes, but sadly the photos don't do it justice. This is amazing. Uh, so this is proper Terminator movie skull there. How have you... What is this? Have you built this? Have you printed this this is amazing and yeah beautiful job on the eyes horrible teeth but i think that's what you're going for so excellent job there and that's such a cool little project i say little that's on a uh that's on an srp box of john west salmon so that is not small that is human head sized and that is so cool absolutely wicked but it continues uh i sent in some demons of corn and bamps a while ago but you missed the bamps as you only showed the demons anyway here they are again and some progress on the demons sorry if i missed it uh, and lastly uh here is the very very early stages of the lion a bretonian special player i'm doing as a surprise for a friend hope he doesn't watch the channel uh he's from grebo uh but i don't know if he's available anymore his stats are not official but i hope my friend still uses him i plan to paint him with speed paints when the mega set becomes available in australia thanks for all the great content happy painting um griff uh p.s show us more of your own whip please i would but a lot of the time i can't what i'm working on or what i'm printing or what i'm painting for the show i can't show off just yet um but i will do more i i promise i promise anyway this is wicked love this team love the demons <laughs> love the little cutables guy uh oh this is wicked how did i miss these uh tiff 
is a big fan of the cutimals team so at some point i will i'm gonna to have to get her one um but this is cool so this is the vampire team and this is absolutely brilliant you've got those little mouses mice uh the bat dude that bat dude in the back is wicked it looks better than the game's workshop blood bowl team um oh wow look at the mottling how have you done that on purpose that's amazing that is gorgeous mottling on the black there. That is just tip top. I don't know if that's just dry brush effect or, or something, but that is, that is blooming lovely. No, this is beautiful. What an absolutely wonderful team. I love the cutimal stuff. It's really cool. And that's just one of the strengths of Blood Bowl is there's so many varieties of style you can go with. Yes, you can even do Lego. And you know what? I'd be well chuffed. It's almost like, here's my um, NFL shoulder pad Lego team. I'd be absolutely stoked. This is cool. So this is your Bretonian dude. Oh, wow. I wonder if Bretonians will ever come back. I hope they do. I hope Games Workshop does bring them back. And it's the kind of thing they would do as well. Maybe in like three or four years, uh, they'll just kind of like surprise everybody and bring them back and make them worse, but still bring them back. But that's wicked. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you finish that off, Griff. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Ewan. Um, hey, Ben. Quite a lot of progress on my 80s neon-inspired goblin team. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe. This is wicked. I just have a bit of detail left on the Squig Fanatic and the Trolls left to do. Uh, I need to add the numbers to the models. The goblins are by Bastol. They are all free on Thingiverse. I don't remember who does the troll, but it appears on Whip Wednesday a lot. Uh, this team is playing in an underground cavern littered with glowing mushrooms. I don't have a name for them yet, so I'd appreciate if people could suggest one in the comments. I was thinking maybe the cave-like crawlers or mushroom mayhem. Dude, that's awesome. Both of those are great. Um, but everybody in chat, let's 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 figure out a name here for you. And uh, my yellow orc team, the Brimstone Bullies, lost my first Blood Bowl game. Oh, two, by the way. Uh, best wishes, Ewan. Um, da -da -da -da. Okay, wicked, absolutely wicked. Right, love this team. I love the neon glow. Uh, yeah, I think we know who that troll is now, don't we, guys? But this is an awesome team. So this is for Bastol. Um, I have seen these. He does he does little snotlings as well. Um, but they're aggravatingly all in one strip of STL and uh, I've never bothered separating them. So this is the Brute Fun Troll. He's a chunky boy. He uh, lines up nicely with the Age of Sigmar Trogoth kind of size. Absolutely brilliant. I love this glow effect you've going on and I really love the bases too. Um, it just works really well. Ah yeah, those are the mushrooms that we got on the um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Black Mountain Buccaneers as well. They're wicked. Absolutely brilliant. I love the little touches. Absolutely. I love the mushroom growing off the troll's face as well. This is really cool. I love the glow effects. It's just looking really, really, really sharp. And that is a really cool project. And I, yeah, I just love it. I think it's brilliant. Good job. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, Okie dokie. What have we got now? We have got this one here. So this is from uh, David Marsden. Hey, Ben. What do I love about this hobby? I guess it's the opportunity to play around with new ideas and go totally off the immersion script. Uh, I have two experiments. The first being a troll for an upcoming snotling team. I love everything you just said there. Uh, where I've made the first attempt at object source lighting. But I'll admit it's not 100% successful, but it's given me the confidence to try again. The second is again a new test of skills. Uh, my first completely scratch built big guy who maybe should have been the apothecary. Again, there's bits I like and bits I don't, but now I have a point to build from. Love watching uh, for ideas and inspiration. Keep up the good work, everybody. Uh, always second that last bit. Thank you very much, everybody, for sharing in. Okay, here we go. So a bit of object source lighting for the troll. That is wicked. That's a great conversion on the troll. Um, e Have you gone with the open hands and then just actually put the, the big old mushroom in there? Because I like that. I wondered if you'd um, kind of sculpt it on top of the rock one. But oh, it cannot be a rock gut trogger for Blood Bolt. Yeah, it works really, really, really cool. And you can see the glow on there. Oh, this is amazing. So this is the 100% built BattleBot big guy. And I love it. And I love the little dog there as well. This is really cool. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much for sharing. That's so good. Uh, next up, we've got Rolling Bones. Um, hey Ben, Dash here. I love the podcast and the channel. Whip Wednesday is one of the all-time greatest series on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, but it's all down to you guys. Uh, thank you and all the people who share. It's really fun and motivating to see what everyone's doing. About a year ago, we did a season 
And I sent in the teams that were participating and some of the pictures were on a pitch that I had made. Well, it's been a long time coming, but I wanted to share more of that pitch, as well as the work I'm doing for an upcoming season. Introducing the Delphos Birds of Prey human team, I wanted to base them on the Packers. Well, I'm on board. Uh, but the Wings maybe changed my mind and I went with my second favourite team, the Eagles, instead. The Ogre is a 3D print with some modifications. Unfortunately, I don't remember where he's from. And the Halflings are from a Blitzball team box that I split up to use with another human team I'm working on. I found a use for Griff's bird as the team mascot. That's good. Uh, I'll use it as a cheerleader token. The coach is just a generic guy I originally picked up to use in a zombie game called The Last Days. Yeah. Uh, the apothecary is another 3D printed file, as is the cheerleader. Right, we are going to flick through the pictures before we go any further. So, it's just an ordinary box, right? Or is it a Blood Bowl pitch? This is wicked. I love the work you've done on the logo, but the pitch is awesome. That is a seriously brilliant piece of work and i love all the little labels have you printed them or painted them that's got to be printed right uh, it looks so 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 good oh that's excellent that works brilliantly absolutely love that so okay so this is the uh this is the team uh the delphos but the delphos birds of prey uh yeah definitely picking up the eagles vibes and i take it that's the uh that's the coach then, I guess, or the star player. Absolutely brilliant. That is such a good team. And yeah, it goes beautifully on the pitch. And there's the... Ah, the bird is flying around, doing a great job there. That's the ogre. Of course it's the ogre. Oh, that's so good. Nice job on the white. Like, making that white nice and bold is brilliant. Have I missed a picture here? I might have missed a picture. I'm not sure if I have. I uh, can't see anything. But anyway, the, uh, the other team on the pitch is my Amazon team, printed from a Kickstarter I backed a while ago from Cosmondo. Uh, I will have an update on them when I get them finished. And finally, we have the progress on some star players. But I think I'm going to start over on them and do all my star players in the same colours, pink and black. Also, the extra griff will probably be done uh, and redone and kitbashed into another star player. Thanks again for all the work you do that connects us and keeps us motivated. Dash, dash, awesome stuff. That pitch is amazing. All right, so we've got Acorn, you've got Varag. Uh, and you've got some human dudes here. So you've got Griff, you've got old Griff. I love the old Griff. I thought it was wicked. But there's so many, like, man-sized star players kicking around now. He's good for whatever. You've got one there. He can be, uh, he could even be your Ivan if you wanted to run him as Ivan. Um, but no, awesome stuff. Love some star players. The pitch is just beautiful, though. Absolute piece of work, that fabulous uh next up we've got nathan hey ben hope you're well wanted to say that your blood bowl content is the best uh, i think i've watched the sevens guide for every team at least twice uh brilliant thank you very much nathan i'm so excited to be playing sevens next week um you may have subliminally influenced my team colors for my human and orc teams the green screen whackers and the pc baddies being packers themed uh and having non-green orcs I'm happy. I'm happy. Boom. Let's zoom in here. Okay. This is, that is some smooth yellow. There's some very smooth colors in there, but that is some smooth yellow. You have done a very good job with that. That is, that is life jacket yellow smooth. That is really, really nicely done and can't be green and yellow. Uh, I finally finished the teams, but I only ever play sevens, so here are the teams. Brilliant. Uh, also, I started an old school underworld team using the Skaven from Dungeon Bowl, some lightly converted shield wolf miniatures, goblins, and of course, a troll. Anyway, hope you like the teams and keep up the great work. Happy blocking, Nathan. Wicked. Love this. Oh, man. Starting a team, just painting up the sevens element of it is perfectly acceptable if you ever want to play 11s you can just chuck some stuff on you can just catch up this is how most of my teams start i paint them up as a sevens team and then if i ever need them for the show or for a league or a tournament i've only got like five or six dudes to paint up and you're ready to go and you kind of like it's just so satisfying but right so this is your human team blitzer catcher blitz yeah two blitzers catcher and a thrower how's the catcher working for you moving eight dodge is very good and that's a ton of movement but Oh, I don't know. I, I think the human I think the human catcher is a little bit underrated, especially for sevens. Yeah, this is great. Absolutely love that red skin tone. And works brilliantly with the black and grey armour. Beautiful numbers as well. Beautiful hand painted numbers. But that is wicked. And this this is this is well, that is zoomed in, isn't it? That is a that is top. That is really good, Black Orc. That's a really lovely Sevens team. Oh, I love Sevens. I'm so excited to be playing some Sevens. That is wicked. And this is just brilliant. 
absolutely brilliant. Uh, I think I may have missed this. Uh, is this? Is this? Is this the? Is this one of the goblins? That's amazing. I love this dude. Buckethead is awesome. That's great. And some seriously lovely highlighting there. Love the scheme. Uh, that's a really cool model. Uh, more of that. That is very, very, very nice. Anyway, I'm getting distracted now. So next up, we've got Sean. Uh, hey, Bono team. Hope you're well. Uh, first up, thanks again for sharing my Chaos Slanesh team and custom death roller a few weeks ago. It was great to see them. So I figured I'd share more work on one of my other teams. So what do you get when you cross 80s themed cartoon show with a bunch of crazy goblins? We get the Gobocons. Oh, nice. I like where this is going. Uh, of course, the team is based on the home turf, the Cyber Gobotron. Yes, there's <laughs> many reference to Goblin here. Uh, anyway, keep up the good work, guys. Um, it's always fun to watch all of the videos. Thank you very much, Sean. This is wicked. I love a big old Gob team. Uh, this is cool. So, got some extra little bits of conversion there on the trolls in the background. And you've just converted all of them into and named them oh this is so good that must have taken you an absolute ton of time i love the scheme i love the work you've gone into there i've put in all the wings and even like you've even hand painted the logo or the kind of um inspiration logo there this is an absolute ton of work but be <laughs> this is so good oh man I would love a 3D uh, sculpted team like this. This is just amazing. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, Torchlight's Goblins this, this month. Because Goblins, I think, don't get the love they deserve. But those trolls. Absolutely brilliant. That is actually brilliant. Uh, I like that you've kept the Doom Diver looking like a Doom Diver. Like, uh, it's good. And the Bombardier with the cannon on the back. Oh, it's so good. And the, and the Ulugan Megatron, absolutely superb. That's cool. Yeah, that is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for sharing. Uh, next up, we've got Corey. Um, hey, Ben. I uh, wanted to share my finished replacements from my Black Orc team. I struggled to finish the Black Orcs from the box set, so I picked these guys up and had a lot of fun painting them. Keep all the great content going. Uh, we really enjoy it. Corey. Thank you, Corey. This is wicked. So, uh, oh, this is the RNE Studio stuff, isn't it? They are very cool orcs. And there's a ton of character there, isn't there? With each of the positionals being, like, separately sculpted. And I've got to be honest with you, the basing's great, but every one of the colours is beautiful. That green is just really nice. Uh, so, yeah, really lovely job on this this lot. Um, yeah, the, the black orcs in the box set are a bit... They're a bit samey, I guess, uh, but this is these guys are definitely not samey. So, Corey, thank you very much. That is wicked. Okay, got some big stuff now. So, this is Justin from South Dakota. Hey, Ben. Happy Norse pre-release weekend. This was sent nine days ago, my bad. Uh, I just finished up another large commission and immediately put the funds towards all the Norse goodness. Uh, thanks for all the primers and content regarding Norse. It's been really great riding the hype train. I can't wait to get them on the pitch. Uh, I'll be doing a Minnesota Vikings colour scheme because obvious reasons. I like it. That makes a lot of sense. And the purple, yellow and white is a really lovely colour. I have a second edition dwarf team painted like that. Uh, who were also called the Vikings. Uh, attached is a commission for Age of Sigma I've been working on for the last month. My local Warhammer store is doing a Path to Glory campaign, uh, so it's been fun playing and painting for that. And playing Nurgle, of course. I play Nurgle and everything, even in Blood Bowl. Wah, wah. No, Nurgle are alright. Nurgle are okay. They are tough. They are a tough battle. But they're not... They're better than you think. Although nerfing the rotters was a bit harsh. Um, it's my first time painting anything with the Soul Blight Gravelords, and I have to say they've been delightful. The Blood Knights are conversions using Thunderwolves from 40k. I was scared cutting into the first skeletal horse that I was ruining an expensive box of knights, but I think the conversion turned out pretty well. I've done head and hand swaps before, so I tell you what, we'll work our way through this. So this is a the, the big zombie dragon thing. I like the way you've put all the viscera and gore covered it, and the... The flesh looks really good. That looks just like proper muscle fiber. That's proper gribbly. Uh, I love this dude. I'm hoping we'll get a big guy for vampires or something something for Blood Bowl. Because like a big Vargulf or something like that would be pretty amazing. 
All right, so these, oh, this, yeah, that's a great conversion. That's brilliant. Um, uh, but I think the conversion turned out pretty well. I've done head and hand swaps before, but this was the most in-depth conversion I've done. Uh, I wish I knew more about the vampire lore, but other than it's a house that likes wolves, that's about it. I'll be facing off against them next week in the campaign, so I'm sure I'll learn about them soon. Thanks for all you do for the community. Play more Dungeon Ball, more Dungeon Ball live plays. Very soon, in fact. I'm filming another game on Friday, and then we are nearly done with the whole season, which is very cool. This is wicked, and the paint job is beautiful, and you've done a solid job of the conversion. Uh, I, I don't, this is it. I Personally, I could never paint, I think, this well. But secondly, I could never paint this well knowing I'm going to be playing against it. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That is a proper skeletal legion. Absolutely love it. Really, really, really cool. The new vampire stuff was pretty great. Ah, the wolves are good too. That is really, really, really cool. Thank you very much for sharing that. So, so good. Next up, we've got Chris. Hey, Ben. First off, love the channel, and thanks to you and the team for making such enjoyable Blood Bowl content. Thank you, Chris. It is a pleasure. Uh, my friend got me into a game a couple of months ago after playing a couple of Blood Bowl, uh, games of Blood Bowl 2 on the PC, and I think it's fair to say I have been hooked by the tabletop version. Uh, I was unsure which team to start with, but after playing my first game as Dwarves, I quite enjoyed the bashy element of the game. My friend suggested Black Orcs, and fortunately, Punga released the Savage Orcs set, which I absolutely loved from an aesthetic point of view. Yeah, the Savage Orcs from Punga are brilliant. Uh, one of the lads from our local club has got a Savage Orc team from Punga and is running it at the NAV Championship this weekend as Orcs, and it looks great. Uh, sadly, they didn't release any Goblins, but I managed to find a set online that I think fit pretty well, and now my team is complete. This is my first ever attempt at painting models and... Um, I definitely think I've improved over the models, but always looking for ways to improve. Um, Pineapple Punch have taken to the field for two league games where they beat a dwarf team and lost to Skaven, but I'm hopeful they'll make the next round. Thanks again and happy blocking, Chris. Dude, awesome. Always great to beat up on those dwarves because they are a challenge. Dwarves are a challenge, but this team looks brilliant. You're going to have to let me know where the goblins are from because they fit the aesthetic perfectly. Um, Punga are doing Slam this month, which I am uh, outrageously excited by. Yay! And you've gone with the Ogre at the end from Artisan Guild. This is wicked. Absolutely love this. Love the team. Those goblins have been picked brilliantly. And yeah, congratulations. One and one. So this is this is just proper orcs, right? No, black orcs. Oh yeah, black orcs. That's really good, actually. Having so many goblins versus a tackle-heavy roster is, is a challenge. Oh, nicely done. Really cool. Absolutely love it. Uh, next up, we've got Trev. Uh, hey, Ben. Hope this email finds you well. Uh, I've got a few things done since my last submission, so I thought I'd send them through. I've been working on my Orc Sevens team, name to be decided yet. Uh, thought I'd try something different and try some freehand stripes and checks. Okay, well, we're a big fan of that on here uh, because that is always effort. Uh, quite happy for the first attempt, just a few bits and uh, bases to go. Uh, also started my Dwarf team, the Draxford 40 Miners. Nice. Uh, you can guess the inspiration for these. Got three players done and just started a Death Roller over the weekend. Also done a couple of test bases for my Elven Union team that are waiting in the dressing room. Tried stripes for the first one using two different flocks and overall covering from... From a flock slash static grass blend I mixed myself with the second one. Finally, here we go. I also completed one of my trolls and Wilhelm Cheney. Thanks again for the podcast and channel. Always a source of inspiration. Trev, Blood Bowl newbie. Right, this guy's awesome. Beautiful job. Some really lovely stuff in there. I mean, the highlighting on the uh, the bandage on his left foot, for example, and that work you've done on the green armor plate. Really, really, really great. Wilhelm's a great player and a great model. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So that Seahawks um, like Chaos Warrior is just getting absolutely nuked by that troll. That's absolutely superb. I really hope one of your friends has got a troll with a team that color because that is just troll worthy. Yeah, brilliant job on this guy, on these guys. So the checkers are great. The damage you put on there as well is really great. Uh, for example, like just that, that armor work you've done, like on the knee works really, really well. It just adds that sense of, uh, like, not, you know, making orcs and goblins play fantasy football is not the most realistic. But actually having armor damage like this, it does make it look like 
proper stuff and it looks really good i like the stripes on the face with these guys as well but yeah really good job really good job right we've got some death roller action some crisp lines on that absolutely lovely to see it's a wonderful model the death roller um super excited to see them in dungeon bowl at our tournament uh hopefully um because uh we're allowing normal teams there's no halves there's no drives you can't get sent off in dungeon ball so hopefully we'll have some some star some uh, not star players but some some star secret weapons i love the stripes here i love the broken the broken like uh colorations of the the pads makes it look really cool absolutely brilliant and a solid bit of dwarf there as well really cool oh wow yeah on the right you've got the two different colors of flock very 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 good absolutely brilliant yeah love the team that's a really solid piece of work absolutely brilliant thank you ever so much trev that's so cool okay this is uh i've skipped one have i skipped one how have i skipped one missed one i'm so confused here we go. So this is Jens. Uh, Hi Ben, after a few months of no painting due to work and being lazy, I recently started working on a goblin team. Mentally, I always felt a certain kinship to them. Uh, the first four players are almost finished and I hope the rest will fo soon follow along uh, with some Black Orcs. And it was a good excuse to buy some new paints to give them a go. My hope is that sending in the whip picture will motivate me to continue with the goblins and avoid getting sidetracked, obviously. Come on, gents, get some, get some goblins done. Past winter, I continued my work on a few classic fantasy Warhammer minis that I wanted to share with you as well. Awesome stuff. Uh, uh, just incredible work here. Absolutely incredible. Look at those tones. Look at the softness of these skin tones. And the non-metallic metal on that High Elf Lord is amazing but look at this look at the work here i don't know what's more impressive the chaos sorcerer's armor or everything about this glade lord that is just next 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 doors next level beautiful beautiful job i absolutely amazing oh look at this as well oh wow Okay, the skin tones are gorgeous. That is just... All of this is wonderful. Look at that. Absolutely look at that. That is just... This is like moonstone level painting. Absolutely gorgeous. Those flesh tones are beautiful. And the little damage and shine on the ball and chain. Absolutely excellent. Oh, just... I have... I could... I just... Amazing absolutely amazing we see some really cool stuff on this show this is unbelievably good wow that is excellent absolutely brilliant thank you so much for sharing that's so cool i cannot wait to see the rest of the goblin team because dude okay uh next up we've got praxic uh been trying to do an hour of hobby every night recently and i've just finished one of my three death watch eliminators uh one of them has borrowed some alpha legion cloaking tech based on the amazing work of uh Circus and his omegon's wrath lightning effect hope you enjoy and happy hobbying update ended up powering through and finished the squad so here's all three of the death watch eliminators to join a sneaky kill team in my crusade um did i skip an email in the end maybe i did maybe i didn't if i did if i skipped something i apologize right anyway we've got some marines here oh that's a cool effect i do like that that is really good where well, you've got the camo on one side you've got the pitch on the other and you've just got that zigzag of electric static it is really cool nice work on the goggles as well nice bit of glow there oh yeah that's really good and I think we got a group shot of them all with the cool cloaks. Brilliant stuff. And the goodness continues with Dan Petty here. Hey, Benz. <laughs> I like that. Hey, Benz and other boneheads. Uh, loving the Norse coverage and thanks for all the pods and videos. Thank you. Uh, here are some god minis from Ank that I've painted up for a friend. Uh, the statues for Super Fantasy Brawl dry rushed up and a guild ball model I'll be using for a 
Thorson. Stout Mead Proxy. Good. We do need a list of good proxies here for Thorson. Uh, coming to the UK this fall and hoping to oh, and hoping to check out Warhammer World during the trip. Enjoy. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, let's check out all this goodness. So I am not familiar with Ankh, but that is an incredible piece of miniature. I mean, I don't know. It looks like a big lad. Could be wrong, but this is really interesting. Wow. Great job with the the, the cheetah spots, I guess, is, is what you describe that as. This is very cool looking stuff. Wow, this is really interesting. You've done a great job with this. This looks really good. I love it. I, so I'm assuming Ankh is like a, a board game. Maybe a, a board game? It's not a miniature game? Ankh. No, it sounds familiar. But, I mean, clearly all that Egyptian inspiration. Well, Ankh being, I think, an Egyptian god, actually, Ben. But no, beautiful job as well on this. Th where to start? The crocodile skin is perfect, especially underneath the face. The eye is beautiful. Lovely glow effect on the gemstone. Really nice. And can't be a good statue. Excellent bit of work there. They come out beautifully. I, I'm sorry, I was trying to think, like, have I seen these before? Super Fantasy Broad is not something I'm familiar with, but done a great job there of just, like, solid dungeon terrain with the little pops of colour is really sweet. Ah, oh, here we go. So this is an excellent, excellent... It's even got basically beer coming out the top of it. Absolutely brilliant. So this is from Guild Ball. Lovely work on the tartan. Tartan is challenging. But no, this is so cool. That is really, really, really cool. Thank you very much, Dan. Uh, let us know when you're in the UK. Uh, you know, never mind. We might be able to sort out a couple of Blood Bowl games at Warhammer World or something. Oh, we've got a stadium here. All the stadiums are coming out of the woodwork and it's driving me crazy. Um, okay, we've got uh, Hados. G'day, Ben. Hayden here uh, with something I've spent the last three months on. My Kraken Studios stone field. Two months to print. Oh, I know that feeling. Uh, four weeks worth of painting, including the 38 figures. But man, has it been worth it. Placed first ever semi-finals on it with my lizard team, the Corporu Carnivores, and managed to get into the final 1-0 against Black Orcs. Spent alloy cash uh, on Zolkath. Uh, which really helped clinch the win. Yeah, you know, I think Zolkath, Zolkath is also a little bit underrated. Um, but back to the pitch, it's all Kraken Studios tiles and buildings with a mixture of Kraken Studios fans as well as fans from Fanath Miniatures. Uh, the Saurus Priest is from Raven Twin Miniatures. I've glued it all down into sections of 5mm MDF so it's quick, quick to pack up and easy to set up again. Yeah, I, I think that is the best way to do it. Um, the Kraken Studio, like all the tiles and stuff, there's like, I don't know, what, 40 pieces? We saw this with the uh, the West Cross Abbey from MG Picks. Like, clever as you like, but many pieces, so it's got a, work, a lot of work. Anyway, I love this. This is looking absolutely awesome. I love the, 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 the kind of, like, stone, stone obviously it's stone, but like sandstone vibe is really cool. And yeah, it must have taken absolute chunk of time to paint i painted a couple of blood bowl pitches in my time and it takes a lot of work but having the dudes on the sideline is so good and i think you've inspired me now i've tipped over the edge let's build a stadium for my local league i can give people some fans to paint up and we can start building up the stadium i think that's what we'll do oh that is a cool priest you've got the sideline staff you've got the kraken tv <laughs> nice work on the goblin absolutely brilliant Love a pitch that looks absolutely sharp as you like. Really cool. All the detail. Oh no, I'm going to have to do this now. Oh, that looks so good. So good. And you got the crew on the side. So Fanath and Kraken. Absolutely beautiful. That is so good. Oh no. I'm going to have to do it, aren't I? This is so cool. Absolutely so cool. Thank you so much. Um, next up, we've got Mark. Hey there, Ben and the Bonehead Podcast. Hope you're all well. Very well, thank you. Uh, thanks for your kind words about my snotlings a few weeks ago. I'm slowly progressing with my nobility and elves. Uh, knowing your fondness of big guys and ogres, here are a few photos of my ogre team I completed last year. Cheers, Mark. Mark, love it. Like the scheme, nice and bold. I like the way you've done stripes on the helmet, on the side plates, on the armor, on the hands. 
absolutely brilliant. Skin tones are lovely. The work you've done on the face with the eyes as well. Absolutely top. And yeah, okay, it's an ogre team, so I'm biased. But telling me this isn't really good technique? This is really good technique. And a really good team. Oh, look at the individual highlighting pits on, it. on the, the split, on the stripe. That's so good. Absolutely brilliant. And Noblar's just, you know, some of the best players in the game, clearly. They're the most aggravating players in the game. And we got a nice team shot. Really, really, really great Ogre team. Absolutely brilliant. Did I miss the name? I don't know if we got it or if we got the name in there or not. But lovely job. Thank you very much. Uh, the name of the team, obviously. Uh, next up, we've got Paladin Demo Painting Blood Bowl. Here we go. First team completed, Corn. I present to you the Tarmax Maniacs, my fourth XFL theme. Uh, second of the uh, first season teams. Awesome stuff. Paladin, what do you think of the USFL and fan-controlled football? Because uh, both of those are keeping me going at the moment. USFL, first week was a bit garbage. Second week was great. Can't get the full games in the UK, but the highlights and, and stuff have been really good. The match wrap-ups have been really good. Fan-controlled football is good for a laugh, but it's very much just it's kind of sevens, isn't it? Like, absolutely brilliant. I miss NFL. And we're five, four months out, four and a half months out. Okay, it's going to be fine, Ben. Just keep breathing. Anyway, we've got Blood Bowl from Paladin Demo, which is not Battletech, but I love the scheme. Oh, it's, it's brilliantly done. Absolutely brilliantly done. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Absolutely great. Uh, yeah. And theming your teams like that is so clever. And it's brilliantly done. Absolutely top job. Thank you for that. That's so good. Hey, we got the Beat Joker team finished. This is cool. Right. This is David Marsden again. Hey, Ben. At long last, the Beach Bums are finished by the Riotous Rookies. Ah, right. Snotlings and Noblars barely count, let alone writers rookies. I appreciate these are at a distance, but it's just a big team of big personalities. An absolute joy to make, a weird team to play, and the team I roll the most ones for. Uh, as always, thank you for the content. Dude, this is awesome. Absolutely love this. I love that you've taken an outdoors shot as well. Absolutely superb. So we've seen this team come along, and it's just looking so good. Excellent finish. All the work customizing it. It's so good. Uh, this is probably my favourite. Because British summer time seaside giant terrifying seagulls. Absolutely love it. So, so, so much fun. Love that. We've seen some great ogre teams today. And Packers teams and XFL teams. Oh, and we've seen, we've seen stadiums. We haven't seen giants yet. I wonder if we're going to have a giant. Let's, let's see. Let's see. We've got another like 10 to go. There might be a giant in here. Uh, next up, we've got Kevin. Hey, Ben. Today I finished my lizard team that's poor. Oh, the Tlaxlan Thunder Lizards. This is cool. Beautiful green and really, really nice basing on these guys. This is a really sharp looking team. Now, the, there's a couple of things there. The edge highlighting on the stone effect looks really good and really pops. Wow. Some seriously detailed highlighting there on the Croxagore scales as well. But the other thing is the skink. The nice fade on the headdress and the work on the eyes absolutely makes them pop. This is a very cool team. Um, I'm very happy about how it's finished and tried some new things. It's such a good feeling to finish a project. The next thing I'm planning on, oh, I'm planning work on is a Strigoi vampire team. The theme of the team is an overgrown old temper pitch. I'm really enjoying the content. Keep up the great work. Greetings, Kevin. Kevin, clue us in. Let's, let's do the whip thing. You know, send us in updates every week or a couple of weeks. Let's see the team. Let's see what you start with because this is wicked and you've done a beautiful job on this strigoi vampires oh that's exciting okay we've got a cool one here from scott now um hey guys uh, i just wanted to say thanks so much for the podcast uh so much great content and a big boost to the blood bowl community love listening to your star player comments and the defensive position videos our uh, playing defense is the most exciting thing about blood bowl it's my favorite um i was going to show off a model that is whip but this uh, i was going to show off a model that is work in progress this is the second team i've painted for blood bowl first being black orcs and now i thought a meme team of ogres was maybe more fun for friendly games i've mostly painted death guard before so trying to use bright and colorful colors was a tough one i don't think i've ever used orange paint before um this is the cool thing about 
blood bowl is you can take all that grunge and then just chuck in unnecessary bright colors to your team absolutely love it so what we got we got an ogre team on the brew here and it is looking great absolutely brilliant i like the scheme it's a cool scheme very kind of 49ers which is pretty good i like that and then we got this which is very special. So um, now I do a little bit of ZBrush in my spare time. And after watching your Fungus the Loon video, I made myself a ball and chain to put on a spare goblin. I thought some of the viewers may like it as well. So I've uploaded it for free here as a little thanks for the videos. Uh, so I will try very hard to remember to put this in the link. Uh, if not, spam the comments for me, guys. But it's on Cults 3D. Uh, anyone is free to grab it. Uh, if, uh, I ever, if I ever make anything else for kit bashing i'll post it here too thanks again scott scott awesome awesome job uh can i go to the page here we go and this is the ball and chain which is an incredibly useful piece incredibly useful because you grab a goblin you chuck it on the top genius i like the fact this goblin's got the horns as well that is an excellent piece of work, Scott. Thank you very, very much. And thank you for sharing too. That's that's really cool. That is gribbly, isn't it? This is horrid. That's really horrid. So this is this is an ogre team with chaos spawn pieces. And it's horrid. So this is Paul V. Hey Ben, big fan of the channel slash podcast. Uh, first time emailing you guys. Just wanted to share my chaos themed ogre team. I recently finished up for a tournament. Hope you guys like it. I love it. So ogre team box set. There's some bits there from I think I think it's the chaos spawn set. That that fly head, but that is just gribbly. And we got the Hobbit goblins in there from uh, yeah, Goblin Town, isn't it? Work brilliantly. I've seen them before. They are halfway probably between a snotling and a. They're like yeah, halfway between the snotling and a goblin. They're they're small enough awesome they work really well they are gribbly deformed and this ogre is just beautifully well done i love conversions what a great finish to the team you've got all the little gribbly chaos spits absolutely excellent really cool and rocking the big flaming pitch too absolutely excellent thank you so much um oh we've got skaven ogres and skaven and stadiums are oh, well happy uh this is giles hey ben love the show here's my first contribution to whip wednesday necromantic team now done working on some ratty lads ratty lads tail knives seem very prone to breaking off yes skaven only have tails in um like fairy tales basically because they they will break off gotta runners have not been too bad the, the line rats just don't even bother this is wicked though that that gruesome pink is really bold and works really well oh, wow that's a lovely team as well solid colors absolutely really bold and bright which goes so well with like the dirty skaven effect or this grungy necromantic effect and i love the work you've done on the the flesh tones of the golems because it is just you've got bits of color in there to show that they're just rotting flesh it looks like you've got a bit of lacquer on there as well with a bit of gray on the fingertips and a really smooth pair of ghosts absolutely brilliant that is a cool selection of models as well absolutely wicked love to see developing teams here oh nice scheme actually i like that with the the oh yeah that's cool that is a that's a really nice green really nice solid green glow for skaven pink worm tails the tails are not going to last too long, but absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. Next up, we've got Scotty Gamer Who Paints. Hey, Ben, a bunch of pictures for you this round. First, um, right, I'm going to do it in reverse. Lastly, I present my ogre team, the Morn Mountain Maple Burns, fashioned after my favorite hockey team, the Toronto Maple Leaves. Okay, billions of noblars, absolutely love it. And a little bit of a conversion there with the foot. Have I, have I missed something there? Is that a different model? I don't know. It works really well. Uh, we've got Greg and Crumbleberry. Is that hand-painted logos? I think it might be. 
Looking really good. Grack and Crumbleberry, great star player combination. Squigs, where did the Squigs write? We've got Squigs. So, second, here they are, the legendary Squig team. Goblin team proxy. I've used several different Squig models to make the positional players and the OG Mangler Squigs models as my troll. Absolute trolls. Absolutely brilliant. So, let's see if we can work our way through the Squig team. So, the Squigs are goblins. And you've got the hoppers. So you've got a couple of different hoppers. Oh, just brilliant. And the manglers there. One day squigs will be in Blood Bowl. I am sure of it. Oh, and here they are. Okay, so we've got ball and chain. You've got probably the hoodlum in the middle there. You've got the chainsaw, brilliant. You've got the doom diver. You've got the pogo stick. And you've got the bombardier with the 40k bomb squig. Excellent work there. And here's the rest of the ogre team. Now, really, really nicely done. I don't. I, I think that is a hand-painted logo, is it, or is that just a transfer? Because you've done a really good job if it's hand-painted. I don't know. It looks really cool. Nice, crisp logo. Really great. Oh, you went with the Forge World Booster Pack as well. Absolutely brilliant. Love an ogre team. There's some great work there. Thank you very, very, very much for sharing. Absolutely tip-top. Love Grack and Crumbleberry. 250k. You get everything you want in your team. Uh, next up, we've got... Ha! Am I... Am I... Have I? I don't know where this is from. That's confusing, isn't it? Oh, no, this is Gavin. Right, in which case, I think I have to mark that one as unread as well, because I've clearly missed that out too. Uh, but, 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 right, here we go. Um, hey, Benz, I ran Bryce recently with my Necro team and was annoyed that I had to proxy a different chainsaw figure, so I set about kit bashing my own ready for next time. This is my first and hopefully last attempt at sculpting. <laughs> First and last attempt at sculpting flames. A little bit of tidying up here and there, and I am calling this one done. Right, this is awesome. I, I, I think you've done a great job. Because I wouldn't even know where to begin, but that is a really, really, really cool job. Excellent bit of conversion work. So I think this is this a white, and you just added the chainsaw. The shoes are a work of art. Absolutely love that. And the bit of like the source lighting on there as well. Excellent. Definitely Bryce. Definitely slicing stuff. Absolutely love it. That's really cool. That's a really good little conversion. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, okay. I am aware of what's happened now. So this is Rob. Hey Ben, love the videos. Thank you very much, Rob. Just started playing Blood Bowl last year and the videos on starting league teams and how to development have been invaluable. Good stuff. Um, glad to hear it. Really am. Uh, I just finished. Well, need still still need to do the base. My mutated rat ogre for my underworlds team, the eight pink pink horrors. Uh, eight peak pink horrors. His name is Gorm, and he does not respect referees. Uh, I may try to paint the ref's eyes, but I'm pretty scared to be honest. Any advice from the community? Okay, guys, we want eye painting tips here. This is genius. This is a genius conversion. So we've got the um, the Bloodspawn. Uh, whew, excuse me. Really lovely paint job. Excellent work with the highlighting the pink. And a rat ogre head added to it. And painting up the elf as a referee just works brilliantly. That is an excellent conversion. Beautiful job. Really like that. That's clear. That's really good. As for painting eyes, I think what you're supposed to do is paint it paint it you're supposed to paint it black and then add the white bits on the edges i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm not good at eyes that's a lot of work uh oh Stuart here doing something different okay hey ben uh have you uh have you been enjoying the sudden rush of blood bowl news over easter i certainly have yes it's been very exciting i am preparing now for a drought uh but that just means we've got time to focus on doing bau content filming games we got some stuff and i'm very happy uh, but it's not what's on my hobby desk at the moment. I'm still plowing my way through the 70 odd minis in the new version of Hero Quest. Uh, it's been fun coming up with color schemes to try to get as much of a nostalgia hit as possible while also doing justice to the much more dynamic sculpts. I'm saving the heroes for last because I think I want to give them my full attention. Here are the mobs I've got so far. Okay, I like that you've called them mobs there. Happy painting, everyone. Stuart. This is so cool. Oh, Hero Quest. Do you remember? I love what the work they've done here to like tie it in to that 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 scythe that was always bent like beyond recognition. But this is really cool. Love the rusty scheme. Love the mummies. 
Ah, there's gone. You've put some work there on the rotting flesh tones. That's really lovely. And the, the rusted swords are really nice. And you've hand painted, for the looks of it, all of the bases. Whoa, okay, this is wicked. The bases here are beautiful. And I love these goblins. They're proper Pathfinder goblins, aren't they? But really nice to job. I love the kind of teal eyebrows. It works really, really well. Uh, that is cool. And then you've got the orc swarm. Oh, man. Hero quest. What a game. The bases are beautiful as well. And these are chunky boys. They're wicked. I love the scheme you've gone with on that. That is a really cool effect. Absolutely brilliant. Man. Hero quest with this lot is going to look insane. Um, does Have you played it, Stuart? Is it better than Warcry? That's the question. Uh, right. Next up, we've got Mark. Hey, Ben. Mark again. I thought I'd uh, sneak in another email. Uh, doo -doo -doo, making steady progress. Uh, painting my elves. One elf completed, excluding transfers, and 11 to go. Looking forward to using them in an 11s game. Played a 7s game uh, last week with my cousin. Elf Union versus Nobility ended 3-3. With the elves equalising on turn 12 was a really fun matchup. I'll keep you posted on my progress. Cheers, Mark. Dude, three, three, sevens. Oh, that's exciting. I am loving seeing this team coming together because those are some really nice colours. And really bold, really crisp. It's just some really lovely stuff. Uh, just, they make me want to buy sweets. That's how like clean and crisp this is. The Elven Union team is a great team. And especially in sevens. Scoring three TDs with nobility, though. That's that's impressive. I mean, the, well, I suppose if you've got a th maybe a thrower and the two cat, uh, the blitzers with catch, they are fast moving pieces. Um, I've played a couple of ge games with uh, nobility in sevens. I against, yeah, dark elves. I, I, drew, I think I lost one and drew the next one. Absolutely brilliant. Love to see the team come together. Absolutely great. Thank you so much. Right, guys, last one for today. Uh, this is uh, Juan. Uh, hi, Boneheads. I'm Juan from Barcelona. I discovered your show recently from a friend's recommendation. I really enjoy seeing people's teams and paint jobs. Here's the crispy popcorn team I've been working on recently. Just finished in time for the spring tournament season. Games Workshop minis and TT Big Guy as the Bloodspawn. Thanks for sharing. Keep up the good work. Here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, I love right excellent shot here with the big guy just tantalizing in the background but I mean really lovely job the green and the purple works beautifully together yeah that big big guy's great and I love the alternative color scheme here the blue skin this just looks like there's blood bowl in the guardians of galaxy universe and that is just so cool I love the scheme the team is brilliant and that big guy is perfect for Blood Bowl, isn't he? He's big, but big guys. Big guys are more better. That doesn't quite work. Love the purple and the green combination. That's a really cool way to do That's a really cool take on corn. Uh, what was it called? The popcorn? The crispy popcorn team. Absolutely brilliant. Nice work with the gore on the big dude. So TT Combat Big Guy as the Blood Spawn. Really, really, really great absolutely brilliant stuff thank you very much right that was awesome thank you so much like i said i'm going to spend some time over the weekend filming everybody else's submissions so expect a whip weekend on sunday morning so you can chill out and catch up with some hobby goodness because there is so much great stuff going on there so thank you so much for sharing whip wednesday bhpc at gmail.com Let's work together and see what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up now. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy painting. Thanks very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you want to help support the channel even further, please like and subscribe or come join us on our Patreon. We have early access to content. We get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can. Or... You can get yourself some Bonehead Podcast merch on our Spreadshirt site. So if you want to support a team, especially for the Bonehead Championship, you can pick up a shirt, a mug, things like that. It all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it. Anyway, links below. Thank you very much. Happy blocking.